stupid, selfish brain brain. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but I think her name is Audrey Coolidge or something. She's been stuck in my head for like weeks. Yeah. Ooh. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Melly Martinez portals ranking. Let's get into it. At this point, filming after I get off work, I guess it's just a part of my protocol. Cause this orientation stuff is no joke. And if I don't film after work, I don't know when you're gonna get this. I'm looking crazy. If Melly Martinez can have four eyes, testicle dropping earlobes and big old laffy taffies on her chest i can look like this when i come on camera we're earthlings after all y'all are weird as hell too so who are you to judge me <laughs> and you know i'm right how my favorite people you're finally getting the video portals album ranking now i always have to preface these ranking videos with this thing even though i don't feel like i should have to wait this is where did my accent come from? This is fully my opinion. Opinion. These rankings and whether I like a song, don't like a song, think one is better than the other, whatever, it's my opinion, just as this is my channel. So please don't get offended in the comments. Don't cry. Don't write paragraphs because not only will I not read them, I don't care. No disrespect. It's just, let's be 100% here. Anyway, subscribe for new here. Like the video. If you haven't checked out the portals journey that we had from snippet reactions to now me buying tickets to the concert to the whole album reaction music video reaction which by the way when the heck is void mv dropping tiktok really has ruined like everything with content anyways yeah all the melanie content you want is in a playlist on this channel called melanie martinez and these videos again babe date back like four or five years so if you're new here you have a lot of catching up to do but enough jibba jabba let's get it oh i haven't even named the rankings damn this is how y'all know i'm so busy um even this part of the video is not done my keyboard is on so the top this is a perfect segue the top ranking category is going to be called soul ascension because in this category songs that go here let me make it a little bigger songs that go in this category are songs that i just like when i listen to them i feel like the title says like my soul is literally ascending this is a pre-made ranking tier list i don't necessarily know what songs go with what title we're just going to go in order of the deluxe yes we are ranking the deluxe because how the hell are your three deluxe tracks just as good as the actual album? Like, she really put Milk of the Siren as a deluxe track. Powder was a deluxe. I need that. Oh, anyway, we're not even going to get into that. Yes, but we're doing the deluxe Portals album and we're ranking them in order. So Death, Void, Tunnel Vision, all the way down to Milk of the Siren, which is the last track on the deluxe album. Anyways, enough talking. Like I said, top... Like amazing category, soul ascension. Underneath that, we're gonna call it iconic. It's just not soul ascending. It's a it's great song, whatever. Um, B, we're gonna put meh because I'm like indifferent to the song. Like I'll listen to it, but it's not in my top favorite, but also I don't dislike it. C, we're gonna say skip, which unfortunately, yeah, I'm looking at the first half of the album. There may be a couple songs in the skip category. I know during the reaction I was like, wait, no skips, no skips. But now as I actually stream, there's like obviously ones that I'm tied to and y'all are about to see those. In fact, comment what your ranking is for these different topics and comment what you think my ranking is going to be. So everybody do that right now. It makes you like the video as well. And this last category, we're gonna say, take it off. No, what could we say here? Melanie can keep it. <laughs> this, excuse you. This last category is called Melanie can keep it. Because as much as I love her, I'm not streaming it, period. Let me make this a little bigger so you, oh. So y'all can actually see what's going on. And I don't want anyone to comment on how many tabs I have open, bitch. Let me do my job. But anyways, first up we have, I believe death, right? 
Yes. Death is life is death is life. First song that we ever heard from the album. It was the first uh, single that was released and I just loved it. It's a great opener for what the story is of Portals. And I think, yeah, Death is just a really good song to tie together the meaning of Portals too. And again, it's, it's just the first single for a reason. It's the first music video for a reason. Death really does tie together this album. And not only to mention that, but like it, it's a good song too. Like it has a really good pop vibe. It gives um, rock, all that. So yeah, Soul Ascension for, um, for Death. After that, we have Void. And y'all know the only track from this album that has made me cry was Void. Because Void is just about perseverance and knowing that things suck and sometimes life sucks and you feel bad about yourself and like just nothing is going your way. And knowing all of that, still keeping on, still going on, not giving up. Like knowing that you've got to overcome whatever you're dealing with. Like it's such a, like I'm even getting emotional thinking about it right now. Void is just like, it's such a, a good uplifting, powerful song for me. So Void also is a soul ascension song. After that, honestly, we have Tunnel Vision. And like I said, guys, I don't know what these pictures are supposed to be, so they're probably not corresponding to the actual song, whatever. Next up we have Tunnel Vision, which I already know it's gonna be Low Bracket Babe, because I can't even remember what it really sounds like. Honestly, for me, the first half of the album, like a lot of the tracks are gonna be low. I am a second half of Portals Girly. If you agree, just let me know, comment down below. I feel like the second half is when it really starts to pick up and like you get the, the good, gritty, the heart of the album. But let's just, what's Tunnel Vision, bitch? What? Oh, that's and I'm coming in, coming in. Yeah, I think the reason that I this song doesn't give portals to me. Like whenever I listen to Tunnel Vision or in fact whenever I it comes up and I skip it, um <laughs> It just reminds me too much, I think, of K through 12. Like it sounds just like the K through 12 songs. It feels like I'm listening to Show Through Show and Tell, Strawberry Shortcake, something like that. So that Tunnel Vision, it's a good song, but I just feel like I would have liked it better if it were on K through 12. I don't know when she recorded it or what headspace she was in, but it's really giving, in my opinion, K through 12. It would have fit better over there. It's not a bad song. It's just it doesn't really match, in my opinion, the rest of the album. And I do in reality skip it so tunnel vision is going to be a skip again i i've said it a thousand times but the pictures don't match the titles just go along with me fairy soiree now this may tickle some of y'all's pickle or make your blood pressure go up either way you may be mad um whenever we first reacted to fairy soiree whenever whenever we did the album reaction i was so like excited for the song i anticipated like i was anticipating what it was going to sound like it's such a different sound for melanie and it makes me feel like i want to dance and like go salsa dancing or something or just eat a bag of salsa and chips bitch in portugal um however i can't lie the last time i listened to this song fairy soiree fully was whenever we did the album reaction it's i don't know i just don't click with the song i don't vibe with the song i love that melanie was experimenting with her sound and changing it up like i love that for an artist however like is it my songs that i'm running to no and there's so many different songs that are like that on this album that's why i'm kind of like judging or being so blunt about the songs that i don't necessarily like because the ones that i do like i soul ascension literally so fairy soiree I feel like it's disrespectful to say Melanie can keep it because again, it's such a different sound for her. Like she was just experimenting, having fun with her artistry and music, which I just appreciate. So I, I can't put it in Melanie can keep it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in skip. Fairy Soiree. So I feel like some people, it's a very niche song. And if you're in that niche, you may be mad about that, but it's the truth. Next up we have Light Shower which for some reason keeps reminding me of Yellow Shower, but that's just because my brain is in the gutter. Anyways, it's a beautiful song. It's it's a slower song, and y'all know I don't usually like ballads, but Light Shower, the fact that it's Melly Martinez one, and it just sounds so beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I'm not listening to it fully. However, like if I were ever in the mood for a slow, somber song, Light Shower would be it. So I'm going to put Light Shower 
in me. It's a beautiful song. Like I just keep saying it's beautiful. Melanie's voice is beautiful. It's a slow, like it feels like you're being enveloped in a cloud or something and like rocked to sleep. It's a nice song. It's just not, again, my top like five. Spiderweb, this one, the instrumental and just the way that she bounces on the beat is what makes, like sets it apart for me. Like it's such a cool sound. And it's, it's like you could tell that she was having fun when she made the song. And also this is about like, what is it about, bitch? I don't even remember. Like, be for real. Yes! The chorus. The bounciness. It's going in iconic. Spider web is iconic. Bitch, I don't know the words. I don't know the verses. However, I know that bounce in the chorus. And I'm here for it. It's iconic. Spiderweb, top five. I just need to stream it more. Leeches. This is what I was saying. The first half of the album is just okay, 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 okay. Back and back and like back to back to back to back. These tracks are. I think the first half, in my opinion, again, let me know what you think. But the first half of the album is like, I'm like, okay. And then the second half comes and I'm like, okay. Whoa, where was this coming from? You know what I mean? But yeah, Leeches. Leech is a skip. In fact, Melanie can, <laughs> Melanie can keep leeches. Uh, oh, I love that she's um, talking about the people in her life and how she may feel a certain times around about other people who just wanna be around her for certain things or benefits for themselves and aren't genuine. I love the meaning behind the song. However, if we take all that away, if we were to say this isn't even Melanie Martinez's song and it was just like a song that I heard, I'm not shazamming it. I'm not, so therefore, I love Melanie, but even she can keep leeches. No disrespect. Battle of the Larynx. I have no idea what the song is about. However, I do know that it's fucking iconic. Excuse my language. It's iconic. It is so, it's a good song. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stupid baby, don't you battle. Soul Ascension? No, 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 I'm tripping. Okay, iconic, definitely. Battle of the Larynx, a lot of these are like, the verses just tie into the chorus and the chorus is what really elevates the song and sets it off for me. Not to mention the instrumental, like the fact that Melanie was so involved with the pro uh, the production of some of these songs and like the overall album, like she was in her Hawaii room writing, finding inspiration in random things, her freaking cramp bubbles in her stomach, like, this album is just everything. After uh, Battle of the Larynx, though, we have The Contortionist. Twisted all my limbs for you. Dun, 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 dun. Touching me. Soul Ascension. From the very first listen of the album, I said The Contortionist is one of my top fives. It's just, it just sounds good. How do you even describe The Contortionist? It's such an odd thing to say. Ah, I'm done. And then she uses the breaking of bones as a contortionist does as like um, part of the instrumental and part of the beat. Like the, the, just the production, the mixing, the, the song, the lyrics of The Contortionist, I really love. And it is very, very much a soul ascension. Soul ascension is gonna be like the, as we get into the second half of the album, Soul Ascension is just going to be endless because the second half really is my my favorite. But after The Contortionist, we have Moon Cycle, which again is where Melanie Martinez literally uses... Yeah! Literally you Sorry, that was like a tick or something. She literally uses her period cramps as part of the song. Like, who thinks of that? Her mind. Female empowerment. Shouldn't be ashamed of your period. Baby boy, you know I'm on my period, yeah. Come on, Moon Cycle, Soul Ascension. And apparently, I don't even know if this is confirmed yet, but wasn't it like a diss at Mr. What's the opposite of an olive? Pine, pine tree. Isn't it shots at pine tree? If you know, you know. Someone let me know. Anyways, we've got, it's nymphology. Not psychology. Be the man a pixie dream that you fucking ought to be. Do I even have to say it? Do I even have to say it? In fact, 
Nymphology should be like the first one in the category. I'm not stupid. I'm just, I don't know the lyrics, bitch, but I know that when the song comes on and I know when she performs it at the concert, which hopefully it is in the set list. I did a set list video, but y'all told me there's more tracks to the concert, but I just know I'm going to, my soul, my soul is already going to ascend. Like the category says, I'm going to be singing along. I'm going to be making a, an embarrassment of myself, but it's okay because I'm happy with it. So yeah, Nymphology is definitely in my top five for this album as well. Next up, we have a song that it was one of the first few snippets, or not snippets, but singles that we heard, as well as um, one of the songs that she performed at Lollapalooza that we reacted to, Evil. And I just really liked the rock vibe of it and like how she kind of screams the lyrics, like the verses she's just talking, another day, now I'm hop, skip, jumping over narcissists. And then it starts, I never went to be content with you. And then she starts yelling, if you bite my hand again, I will never feed you. You can't call me evil. Like it's it's a really good song. So evil, definite, not soul ascension, because it doesn't give me the same vibes as nymphology. I'm not stupid. I'm not wild. But it's definitely a higher up track. It's a really good song. Evil is like another outlier from the album, but in a good way, not like Fairy Soiree, in my opinion. After Evil, we have Womb, which I think is a cool song. Oh, this is Womb, probably, right? Anyways, Womb is a cool song because it like ties together the whole story and like makes it all make sense. However, as a song itself, I don't think I've replayed it or streamed it since the album reaction. In fact, let's listen to a little bit of it now. Yeah, no. Melanie can keep it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being honest with you guys. At least I'm not up here just faking the reaction like a lot of y'all accuse me of doing, bitch. Fuck you. But Womb, in my opinion, is... It's just not, in my opinion, a memorable song. Like, it's not a part of my taste. But you know what is a part of my taste? These deluxe tracks. I don't know how... The deluxe tracks, in my opinion, can overshadow or be better than some of the songs that are actually on the album. Like, Powder... Like, Powder is one of those songs, y'all were saying it has to grow on you. In my opinion, it doesn't need to grow on you. Either you get it or you freaking don't. Powder was in my, the best song on the album. Deluxe or not, Powder's the best song. Powder is... It's, it's just as good as Nymphology. I can't even, I need y'all to understand. Powder. You can't tell me that chorus doesn't hit. And then how she uses the original sound or voice of Crybaby in the verses. And then you hear Melanie in the chorus. Uh, yeah. And then the way she uses a metaphor to describe um, drug addiction. Like that's a big thing about these albums too in her writing that I just really appreciate. She takes the most like um, generalized topics that we all experience, but yet uses metaphors, similes, and comparisons and like just says it in such a like cool way. I don't know, her writing's amazing, but Powder, yeah, top five for me. At this point I've said top five three times, so my last two top fives are the, the rest of the, maybe not Pluto. Pluto was cool because she's talking about how she's begging this planet or cosmic energy to help her. I love the, the writing in it again. That's Milk of the Siren. See, I'm already jumping over Pluto, which tells me it's just, no, it's not a skip. What am I talking about? It's a meh. I'm neither here, I'm neither there, I'm everywhere. Bipolar manic phase, cool, we love it. Yeah. yeah. Pluto, in, in my opinion, is meh. I don't like it, I, 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 I do like it, but I don't like love it, but I don't hate it. Lastly, we have Milk of the Siren, which I know a lot of you are gonna say is the best album. Let them drown! I cannot believe she freaking said that. Milk of the Siren is iconic, but it's more than iconic because we've been waiting on it for years. It's soul ascension. It's not my favorite song of the album. My favorite is probably Powder or Nymphology. However, it's up there. Milk of the Siren is just like such a cool song. 
you literally feel like you're a siren on an island watching like the tide bring in the ship of men and it's all about don't let them have excuses they've um ruined the earth and womanhood for so long what song did she talk about chopping off a penis and feeding it to him the fact that that image could fit into so many different tracks kind of iconic but also kind of scary melanie she's wild anyway milk of the siren i love it phenomenal song so guys again this is my ranking let me know if you guessed any of these spots let me know if my ranking matches yours and what is your top five songs from portals the deluxe you can include the deluxe tracks into your top five ranking comment it down below lastly make sure you're following me on instagram because i really want to get to 10k and we are at like 9,000 something so yeah all you if you see this video if you're at this part bitch go follow me on instagram favorite underscore bear it's literally on the screen right there but i'll see you guys probably on my taylor swift concert vlog because i'm going this is just the year of concerts for me i'm going to see melanie martinez in a couple months I'm gonna see Beyonce, I'm seeing Taylor Swift again, and I low-key wanna see SZA. And Doja Cat's about to drop an album, I'm gonna, if she goes on tour, bitch, you know I'm there. Apparently it's her rap era now. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.